Hey guys, I've done a little bit of research on the transmission for the uh, 2003 Dodge Cummins. It's got the uh, 48RE transmission. Um, I've read a few things that could be causing my trouble um, where it appears to be starting in second or third gear. Uh, one thing said to, uh, to check the band, uh, so I was going to try that first. Um, I'm on the driver's side of the truck underneath. And there's a, a bolt right here. If you can see, go up on the top side here. Um, this bolt right here um, is how you would adjust the, the first band. The other band is inside the transmission, um, which uh, I'm not going to drain the transmission at this time. I'll just do this one, uh, see if that will make any difference. If that doesn't work, um, I'll try the second um, step that I was uh, looking at online. That could be the cause of the trouble. Um, in fact, my feeling is that the uh, governor pressure solenoid and sensor with, that's in the transmission uh, is what is uh, most likely going to be the trouble. But I've got the tools to do this, so I'm going to give this a try and see if it makes any difference. Um, we'll need a uh, three-quarter inch uh, wrench or a 19. Um, I've got a 19 millimeter. Um, and then a T40 um, uh, Torx bit to, uh, to do this uh, procedure. Uh, I'll grab the tools and we'll see what we can do. All right, I've got my 19. I'm going to use the box in and get on here. You can see there's not much room to work around in here. I'm all the way butted up at the top, but I think we're gonna have just enough room to, to break that lock nut loose. I got you in the right place where you can see here. Spring's a little in the way, but there we go. Well, it wasn't too tight, a little bit, but there we go loosened it up and you'll notice that the nut and the I guess the set nut is also moving too so I'll get the the T40 where I can loosen that up a little bit that I've now backed the uh, lock nut out where it's flush with the uh, set bolt. Um, what we'll do now is we'll tighten it down, finger tight. That way we're getting that T40 to set up and then we will use our torque wrench to make sure we're set to 72 inch pounds. That's inch pounds, 72 inch pounds. And then we're gonna back it up um, one and three quarter turns uh, once we get it set. The torque wrench on, set to 72 inch pounds. And yes, that was inch pounds, not foot pounds, but inch pounds. Trying to listen carefully for the faint click, you hear it? We're at 72 inch pounds right there. So what we'll do now is we're going to change this out um, and get a regular uh, ratchet and back it off one and three quarter turns. What you might want to do is mark your um, your socket some way or another to indicate where your first cycle is so you can keep track of your one and three quarter turn. I just took it mine to the side of the concrete there and scuffed it up a little bit and hopefully we'll be able to see it as we we turn it here um, on the nut all right so I got the nut set but I've noticed as I'm trying to tighten it down the set nut is turning too. 
So you're going to need to use two hands. Put your T40 in there to hold that still while you tighten that up. All right, we'll give it a shot, see what happens. Okay guys, we're back out after the band adjustment. Looking for the moment of truth and see if that uh, band adjustment worked for us. We'll see what happens on this first pull. Uh, I'm a little shocked right now. I was not expecting the band adjustment to do the trick, but it looks like it might have. I'm going to do a couple more pulls and see what happens, but uh, I really was not expecting the band adjustment to work. that out and see if that'll 